Who's in charge of your FBI reports? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. When I talk about your FBI reports, what I'm talking about are your facility building inspections. So somebody's got to be in, in charge of that. You know, who is it? Who's responsible to make sure that we're getting all these reports done on all these facilities that we're, that we're cleaning? Very important. So make sure you assign somebody. What I always did is I always assigned it to my supervisors. So it was my supervisor's responsibility to go ahead and make sure that they had all the FBI reports complete and turned in on our weekly meetings. So the supervisors, they'd be uh, given um, you know, X amount of buildings uh, to manage and uh, to make sure that it was kept to standard and uh, do any training with the employees and so on and so forth. But you know, also part of that job was to do their, their uh, FBI uh, inspections, you know, their building inspections. So um, what I had them do is that they would go through and they'd do a walkthrough. And the, the building inspection was always based on uh, the, si the size of the facility, how often we, we cleaned it, and based on that we determined if we were doing an, an, an inspection once a week or once every two weeks or once a month. So for example, if it was a, a location that was about let's say 50,000 square feet and we're cleaning it five days per week, well that would be uh, have an inspection done once a week. And it was very, very important that those were done. So we had these all scheduled just like clockwork so that each supervisor knew exactly what account had to have an inspection and when uh, that inspection was due. And as I said, you know, we did meetings, uh, uh, management meetings uh, every Monday and um, they were to bring those reports with them and or turn them in um, earlier in the week, you know, you know, as soon as they got them done. And the nice thing about today, you know, that was back when we were doing it in, uh, with paper, you know, and then we did have an app for a while. Uh, and today everybody's using apps to do their facility building inspections. And that's really the way to go because with your building inspections, um, you want to be able to communicate with the team you want to communicate with management, with owners, and you want to communicate with your clients. So using today's apps is really easy to do that. As you go through and you're walking through the facility, anything that you're seeing, you can take photos of it. Uh, you can make comments. You can send these things to your team, you know, to the frontline cleaner. And, uh, you know, mention to them to keep an eye on this, that, or the other. But, you know, the apps today just make it so easy. So, you know, like I say, it's just important, you know, who's, uh, who's in charge of your FBI reports. Make sure you assign somebody that responsibility and hold them accountable. Because, you know, I talked to so many uh, cleaning companies that, first of all, don't even do building inspections. They figure it's a waste of time or something. I don't know. I, I don't get that part. But, um, you know, that's the only way that you can make sure that the cleaning is to standard and that your cu customers are happy. The one thing that you should never do is that you should never go to your client and ask them, well, how's the cleaning? If, you do, if you're doing that, then you obviously don't have systems in place for, to do uh, facility building inspections, your FBI reports. So, well, this is a quick tip for you. Uh, hopefully you got something from it. And if you are not doing inspections, start doing them now. Make sure that you have your FBI reports complete. So, until next time, we'll see you.